instructions are to draw an isosceles trapezoid with a long base of 8 centimeters, a short base of 4 centimeters, and a 35 degree angle. The first thing I'm going to do is draw the long base. I need an 8 centimeter line. Because the short base is 4 centimeters long, and because in an isosceles trapezoid, the short base will end up being centered above the long base, I have to do a little bit of math. The endpoints of the short base should be at the 2 centimeter mark on the long base and at the 6 centimeter mark. So I'm going to mark those spots on the long base before I remove my ruler. Next, I'm going to draw dotted lines longer than I think I need, going straight up, perpendicular from the long base, from those dots that I drew. The short base will end up being between these two dotted lines, but I don't know yet how high it should be. The next thing to do is to draw my 35 degree angle. I'll draw a 35 degree angle, this end of the long base. This is a 35 degree angle, and the line I'm drawing is long enough because it has intercepted the dotted line I drew before. The next thing to do is to draw another 35 degree angle at the other end of the long base. And again, I'm drawing the line longer than I need by drawing it past the dotted line I drew before. I don't need my protractor anymore. I want to place my short base in between the dotted lines that I drew going straight up at the height at which those lines are intercepted by my 35 degree angles. All that's left to do is for me to make this part of the dotted line over here solid, and the same over here. And to label my trapezoid. The big base is 8 centimeters in length, this small base is 4 centimeters in length, and I have a 35 degree angle over here, and I have another 35 degree angle over here. I'm finished. I can leave these dotted lines on my drawing because these are construction lines, and they serve to show the person who is correcting my drawing that I use proper technique. This is how you draw an isosceles trapezoid when you are given the lengths of the long base and the short base and the measure of the angle.